My name is Jim Sutter, and I'm the CEO of the U.S. Soybean Export Council. Well, I, I think soy is one of those products that is quite sought after because it delivers protein and it delivers oil. You know, a soybean is roughly 80% meal, 20% oil. The meal is where the protein component is and the oil is obviously the oil. And if you look at what's happening around the world and what's been happening over the last, take the last 20 years, global demand has about doubled for soy over that period of time. And I think it's because people, as, they, as their situation improves in life, their economic situation, their ability to buy more food, maybe they've urbanized, they've moved from the country so they have to buy food, they want a little more meat and they want some cooking oil to, to use with that. And that has helped double the demand for soy. I think it's largely awareness. I think people need to become aware and they need to become educated about the diets that they eat. It's not just a question of getting enough calories, but it's a question of getting enough nutrition. And I think India is becoming aware of that. Many other countries in the world are becoming aware of that. People here in the U.S. are becoming aware of that. Uh, I think we're all just becoming smarter. And I think that is helped by the younger generations. I see so much interest from millennials and Gen Z people in knowing more about the food that they eat, knowing whether it's good for their body or not good for their body. And I think the whole situation of protein deficiency plays into that. So I think people of all walks of life, of all economic stratuses, will have a desire to make sure, especially that they're feeding their children, the right amount of protein. I think that demand growth is going to continue. I think that there will continue to be growing demand for protein in many places around the world. I think uh, particularly in markets where, where consumption is relatively low, I think people will want to consume more. And whether that's chicken or fish or pork or a, a plant-based meat, I think soy can be a part of all of that. And I think likewise, I think there's going to be growing demand for the oil. People want more cooking oil to use in their products. And also there are some places around the world where some vegetable oils are used as an energy source. And I think that will also shore up demand. So all in all, I'm pretty optimistic about uh, demand growth for soy. The U.S. is a, uh, I like to think of the U.S. as really a, a leader in the value of soy because we've done a lot of work looking at the various constituents that make up our soy versus soy from other origins. And we have some strong information in terms of amino acid balance, various qualities of the soy. We really have ideal growing conditions here. Mother Nature brings us cold weather. The plants mature, a frost happens, the plants actually die, and then our farmers harvest the soybeans, so they have fully matured. In some other places, more tropical countries, uh, that process doesn't happen, so the soybeans never die naturally, and there's a little more damage associated with that. So I think that uh, the U.S. contribution is good from that perspective. And in terms of being a global supplier, 60% of what we produce goes onto the global market. And I think the reliability of our soy export supply chain, whether it's the reliability of the companies or the infrastructure we use to do the exports, I think all that is really good. And uh, I think the U.S. is in a strong position globally in the soy industry. I think India, in terms of soy, I mean, India is the fifth largest producer of soy in the world. And I think they're, in, they're an important producer and they, I, I have every expectation they will continue to produce soy and that'll probably grow. As I look at India, I think they're probably just about to really see growth in demand for soy, primarily for poultry and aquaculture production, uh, but also for these plant-based proteins. I mean, India is a unique place, and, and I don't pretend to understand all of the wonderful cultures in India. I know there are some that consume meat, some that don't consume meat. There are holidays, there are periods of time when people don't. But I think soy has the capability of delivering protein in any form that people want. And I think also that India is recognizing that there is a need for the population of India to consume more protein. I think that people will continue to want to provide better nutrition for their children than they had themselves. I think the world will continue to grow. I mean, we're talking about 10 billion people by 2050. Who knows exactly what that number will be? but it's certainly gonna grow from where it is today. So we'll have more people. I think we'll be feeding those people in a better way. 
So I think that demand will certainly be going up for proteins, for oils, and soybeans can deliver on that.